Vicky, can you answer me? What am I afraid of? Susanna, I'm afraid that I could be standing here talking to you and then vanish, just like that. And when I come back or wake up, hours might have gone by, or days, or years might have gone by, and I will not know if one of my altars has committed another unspeakable act. So I think it's better that I stay locked up here where I can't hurt anyone else. So look, I, I know this therapy doesn't come with a money-back guarantee, but I think the worst is over for now. Your other parts just don't have the power they used to have. They can't suddenly take over. Your altars will always be part of you. But they won't take control anymore. Oh, God, I would like so much to believe in what you're saying. See, everything ahead of me is so uncertain. I don't even know what's ahead legally. But I... I made a promise to my children. I promised them I would never leave them ever again. And I have to use every ounce of my strength to make sure I don't break that promise. Because I owe them so much. And I don't ever want to ruin another Christmas or another day for them. Oh, golly, yes. It is getting late. Yeah, I'll go get your coat, okay? No. I think, uh, I think you should all just go on without me, okay? Vicky, if you want to go, I'll be there with you. I just think it might be too unsettling. All the people and the, the, the lights and, the, and all the children. But, Mom, I mean, we always go as a family. I mean, it, it makes Christmas, please. Jess, no big deal. Mom, if we if we go as a family, it'll just I don't know. It'll be like everything's all right again, you know? Please. Well, then, of course I'll go. Sure. I uh, should change. Uh, I'll go and change, and I'll be right back. It uh, looks like we missed the pageant. Uh, as long as we didn't have to be in it, right? <laughs> uh, you all right, Vicky? Yes. 
I think I need just a minute, though, if you don't mind. Uh, why don't you go ahead? Of course. Thank you. We'll go in and we'll save your seat. Take your time. Is everything okay, Mom? Yeah, I'm fine. Thank you. difficult things are for you now. My deepest sympathy on your loss. Thank you. Merry Christmas, Doreen. It's good to see you. Thank you, Joe. It's good to see you, too. Why don't, um, Blair and I go inside and find something? Mm -hmm. uh, come on, Joe. Um, actually, I'm just Good night, everyone. Good night. Don't walk out with him and head on upstairs. Good night. Well, I'd better be hitting you road. Whoa, whoa, no, Dad. You still have to read to us the night before Christmas. Not, you know, not for me, of course, but for Cece and Sarah. You don't want them to grow up culturally blind. <laughs> it would be lovely. I'll get it. Back such lovely memories, especially of that wonderful Christmas when you.
told me you wanted to adopt Kevin and Joey. Well, I was thinking of that, too. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, Clint. I, uh, think I'm going to go upstairs as soon as PJ and Sarah hang their stockings, so, you know, if you have other plans. 